Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I'm just going to do a very quick video and um, just uh, to share one little project that my daughter and I worked on tonight. And um, what we did was we made some goodie bags using these uh, Stephanie Bernard um, stamps. And they're so, so super cute for Halloween. Um, you get one, two, three, four sentiments and four little cute critters that have witchy hats on. As you can see there, there's an owl, there's a cat, there is a little raccoon. Sorry, let me refocus here. And then there is a dog. So, super cute. And I'm not even sure what this particular stamp is called. Um, but I'm sure if you go on their website, you will find it. And it's the stampsoflife.com. This is it right here, the stampsoflife.com. And excuse my hands, I'm all dirty because I've been copic coloring. So let me just show you what Genevieve and I created. Just a little treat bags. And these are ready made glassine treat bags that I think I got at Michael's. Um, I'm not even quite sure. I think it was at Michael's. Um, anyway, I just stamped using the stamp uh, that says Happy Halloween. And I backed it up on some black specialty paper, some flocked paper. I don't know if you, you can see that, but it's the flocked paper that I had used on my um, October weekly album. And put a doily there. And then just made uh, one of those rosettes again. Since I still had some cupcake liners, I layered the um, regular cupcake liners and then the mini cupcake liners. And then Genevieve colored all of the images. And so this one is going to one of her friends. And I just basically put... Um, some clothes pins that were gifted to me by um, Rosie, who is Nanjai on YouTube. So, <clears throat> excuse me. There is one. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice there. Wow. I seem to be quite raspy. It's kind of late. Okay, so here's the other one, and this one says, Too Cute to Spook. And basically the same thing. There's candy in there. And she colored up this raccoon. And the next one is... Boo to You. So cute. And I backed this up on... Um, um, like kind of an orangey rusty colored um, glitter uh, not, not glitter I think this is a is it a DCWV I don't know I've had it in my stash for a while but it's like a foiled paper and here is the owl so I love the way she colored the belly here and then she put some cheeks. You guys see that? She put some cheeks on. <laughs> some um, blush on her owl. And she even put, um, made the beak yellow and put little nostrils on the... On the um... See, I would have never even thought of doing that. But she... She did. Very cute. And then here's the cat. And let's see here. Sorry. This one says trick or treat. Let me refocus there. And this one is the orange cat that she copic colored. And here's that one. I think there is. This one is kind of one of my favorite ones. Boo to you. Because this one looks like my dog. And I think this is going to her best friend. Um, although I think my... Actually my dog has a little bit of brown in his, on his ears. Um, 
but she must have forgotten to color that one. And she did one, two, three, four, five. I think there's two more in here, but um, well, I'll just show you. This one says, again, too cute to spook. And this one is a gray dog, and I love the way she put a little spot <laughs> around the eye there. Because, you know, how there's some dogs that do have a, a ring around their eyes like that. So, very, very creative, my little Genevieve. And the last one. This one says, Happy Halloween. And she colored another L. And again, she did some shading over here, and she colored the belly, and put the rings around the owl's eyes, so I thought that was really cute. So yeah, that is what she plans to give her little friends. She, there's like a group of seven of them, and uh, you know, the, yeah, she has a lot of friends. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys, and, oh, then I decided to finally make one of those rosettes, because I was wanting to make some, you know, the rosette with the, the straw, and so I made this one, and, of course, I used my doggy, and, because he looks like Teddy, and I did put a little brown on his ears this time, and then I layered the cupcake liners, um, and then I made um, paper rosettes using my Martha Stewart punch board. And then I used this straw that Sophia had gifted me. Put some tulle and some eyelash trim. A little um, organza ribbon. Again, this is from Rosie. And thanks, Rosie. Love using that um, ribbon. That you gave me and then a little um, purple bling there and that it just sits on my desk so yeah just wanted to share with you guys that's probably my last Halloween projects for the year so um, hope you guys are done with your Halloween uh, projects because Halloween is coming up in a couple of days so all right Good night, everyone, and have a great night. Bye-bye.